very first video idea that will blow up your educational YouTube channel is how to get started or how to start videos. A great example of this is Katherine Manning, whose channel blew up after she created how to get started on YouTube during the pandemic in March of 2020. This video has contributed to her channel's success and it's really so simple to recreate this in your own niche because all you need to do is either think about how to get started in your niche in general. So if you're in plumbing, how to get started as a plumber. If you're in data scientist, how to get started as a data scientist. Or you can think about one topic in your niche that people might have difficulty starting. So in my case, I can write how to start writing your dissertation. These video ideas are great because they're so easy to be found through a search. People are always writing how to get started in all these different areas. And if someone is typing that into Google or YouTube for your specific area, they can find your video. And if enough people are doing that, YouTube can actually start recommending your video and that can allow your channel to blow up just like Katherine Manning's channel did. Now, what is important whenever you're creating these video ideas is you wanna be focused on the beginner information that they need. And you wanna have just a little bit of a unique approach to it. So for example, in Katherine Manning's video, she is talking about things like how to pick your YouTube name and how to create your uploading schedule and not just how to actually create the account. So people that are wanting to actually get started, it's a little bit more of a comprehensive take on it than a lot of YouTube videos talking about how to get started on YouTube that just walk you through how to create an account and upload your first video. The second idea you should have on your channel is just how to videos. And so a good example of this is my own channel, which is the Science Grad School Coach, where I actually created a video on how to write and publish a research article for publication. This is the video that has actually created the most subscribers on my account and has grown my account the most. Now, what's important whenever you're trying to do this is you are focused on search, not on getting recommended in this case, but if you can get enough volume through search, you can actually start getting recommended as well. In this case, you wanna focus on longer tail keywords and not just in mine, I could have written just how to write a research article, but back when I had less than a thousand subscribers, there were other people who had how to write a research article that probably would have beaten me in search. So instead I did how to write and publish a research article, which is a little bit of a longer tail keywords. And then I specifically said in a journal. So now I have multiple components. I'm not only writing a research article, I'm also publishing and specifically in a journal article. So people who are searching combinations of those terms will now find my video instead of the other ones that had a shorter form keyword. If you are looking into creating this type of video, use something like YouTube autofill to be able to find that out or TubeBuddy. You can check out this video where I am finding my own video ideas to help you figure out how to develop out these long form keywords. The third type of video idea is a versus video. And this was actually the first type of video idea that did well on my own channel. And it's just simply taking one topic and then doing versus another topic, or it could even be a product versus another product. One good example of this is Graham Cochran's channel. He talks about business and he did one video on a LLC versus a sole proprietor. And that video is his best performing video on his channel and has generated him tons of views. And he talks about it actually in multiple other of his videos that that is his number one video for creating his subscribers and growing his channel. Now, if you wanna do this, simply just choose one keyword or one product in your niche and then go into YouTube autofill, type in that keyword, put a space, put verses, and let autofill tell you what other people are searching that topic versus. This is also really great if you have commonly confused words in your niche as well. The fourth type of idea that you should have on your channel is ideas videos. So just like this being super meta here, 
A great example of these types of videos doing well and actually growing a channel is Kristen McGowan's, who did a video idea on IKEA home organization videos. So you can see that while she has over a million subscribers, she has actually gotten over 7 million views on this video. And you can pick anything within your niche, anything that needs a creative aspect, and just give example of ideas. So for example, in my niche, I am doing science grad school. I could do five literature review ideas that you need. Something like this allows people who are struggling in this space to actually start getting ideas of what they can be doing next. Ideas videos are also great for ranking in search because so many people are just searching these keywords and eventually if enough people are searching it and liking your video, they can actually get suggested to other people who are watching videos in your niche. The fifth idea that's going to take a little bit more of your time than just a simple how-to video is to create a long form, basically a mini course teaching a specific skill that's important into your in your niche. This can be really easy to do when you're just thinking about a software that is used within your niche and doing a long form video on it or a specific skill that people need to have in your niche and doing a 20 minute to four hour video covering comprehensively everything that they need to know about that skill. A great example of this is Programming with Mosh who creates a lot of long form mini courses basically on these different coding languages that programmers would need to know. This is again so great for search because a lot of people just searching a skill that they need to know can find yours and when you have that longer form that's actually rich, it's not fluffy, it's concise and everything they need to know, it can definitely increase the number of subscribers you get because you're now their go-to person for that information. These are also really great because once you become monetized, you can add multiple ad breaks in the middle of these. So if you have a four hour video, you can have multiple ad breaks. And if you wanna level it up a notch, add in chapters so people can skip around to the different components and add an ad break before those chapters so that you're getting that additional ad revenue. And if you wanna go one step even further, you can then break up your chapters into other videos and include those on your channel as well for if people are just searching how to do this one thing you included in that long form content, they will be able to find this smaller video that maybe will eventually lead them to that larger mini course again. So along with that is the sixth idea is software tutorials. So these are likely going to be your shorter tutorials. They're not gonna be an hour long of a tutorial, but these are gonna be really great because if people are searching for a specific software or a specific product, they may end up finding you. A great example of this is Honest Finance's tutorial on Robinhood. This has been his number one video on his channel. And what's even greater about these types of videos is if you become an affiliate of that product or that software and that video starts getting a lot of views, people might actually use your affiliate link to then go and use that software, which can end up bringing you revenue into your channel. So if you wanna get started on this, just think about what is a common software in your niche the last video idea talking about different softwares or products is going to be a top products video. So in your specific niche, you can easily create a top products for whatever your niche is. So in my case, I just recently launched a video called the best external hard drives for graduate students. Now, there may be a lot of videos out there about the best external hard drives, but there was no video specific to graduate students. A great example of this is Noah Banks, whose top two most popular videos are just talking about the top fitness apps. And he even can update these for different years. So this is also evergreen content, but you can easily create more and more videos by just updating it every year. So you can think about top specific products, top softwares, top apps. I've even seen top Google Chrome extensions perform really, really well because people are searching this in YouTube search and whenever they're finding it in their browse features and they're a part of that niche, they can become really interested because maybe they'll find another cool app to be able to use. This is also another great one for if you're trying to use affiliate marketing to grow your monetization efforts, you can easily 
become affiliates of Amazon or another affiliate marketing software like ShareASale that has those companies as a part of their network. And then just link your affiliate links in the videos for those top products. The last three types of videos are gonna be helpful for one search, but also to allow you to gain a deeper relationship with your audience. So that you're not just telling them how to do stuff, but you're actually giving them an insight into your life, which can help deepen that relationship and help them to watch more and more of your videos as well. So video idea number eight is your top tips for either something specific in your niche or your niche in general. So I can have the five top tips for graduate students as an example, or I could specifically have my five top tips for writing a research article. To decide on which ones you might wanna use, TubeBuddy is again another great resource, especially if you're using YouTube Autofill to try and figure this out. One great example of someone who has used tips in order to grow their channel is Emmalyn, et cetera. She has one video that is cross-stitching tips, so you can use this in any niche. That video has gotten well over the views of her subscriber count and has likely grown her channel because of it. This is also great for search, but it's also great as an emotional thing because people want to get ahead. And so if you're creating a video on how to, if you watch these tips, you're gonna get ahead on this, then it can start tearing at their emotions and make them want to watch it because they don't wanna miss out on those tips and then make mistakes. And that leads us into our ninth video, which is all about mistakes. If you include the mistakes that most people make, or even better, the mistakes that you made, and what happened with those mistakes, the consequences that came from it, and how to prevent those mistakes, that is really going to allow you to grow a deeper relationship with your community, because they're going to understand that you were just like them, and you've gotten to where you are in your space, and they can actually do it too. A great example of this is Red Light Blue, who teaches guitar, and his number one video is all about what all beginner guitarists do. And so this is actually talking about a mistake that beginner guitarists do, and it's going to tear at people because they don't want to make those mistakes. They don't want to make mistakes. They want the easiest path. And so you creating a video about your mistakes allows you to grow that relationship, allows you to get views through search, and will allow you to get views through browse features because people in your niche aren't going to want to make the same mistakes that you did. And then finally, the last video that I feel like is rare to do on a educational channel, but is actually really important to do and can actually really grow your channel is day in the life videos. So if you are in a specific niche, especially if you are currently working within that niche, so if you're talking about teaching and you are a teacher, do a day in the life of a teacher video. Most of the people who are watching your educational content are really curious about your field that you're talking about. So if you just show them behind the scenes, what is it like to actually be in this field? This can actually blow up your channel. A good example of this is Sundas Khalid, who talks about data science and she just filmed a day in the life of a data scientist and it is her number one most viewed video on her channel. So even though she's mainly talking about educational information around data science, having a day in the life is something people are truly interested about and it allows you to grow that relationship because they're actually getting to see a little bit more of your life and your personality and not just your tips while you're still educating them on what life is really like in this position. If you wanna see me actually work through creating my own video ideas, watch this vlog here of behind the scenes of me creating my video ideas. And if this content was helpful for you, click the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want more information on how to grow your business and behind the scenes of how I am working on my business. I hope to see you in the next video.